I hope you enjoy it. I really do. If you don't, ah, oh, I am sorry. <laughs> that will almost certainly have been my fault. It really will. 50-50. It will be 50-50, right? And that's the problem. That's the traumatic thing about doing comedy every time you go on stage. There is a chance that you might not enjoy it. Because that is the nature of stand-up comedy. Stand-up comedy is an inherently subjective medium. No two people can agree on what's funny. So if you don't think I'm funny, that's absolutely fine. The only problem I have as a comedian is that if somebody thinks what I'm doing is not funny, it stops being comedy. And there's no other job like that. If you're a builder and you build a wall, people go, that's a good wall, or that's a shit wall. No one says, that is not a wall. You, <laughs> you built a bloody duck, mate. What are you thinking? <laughs> and I like the fact that people can have different opinions. I like that. I think that's what makes being a human being interesting. It's nice to argue and debate. I don't like it when people can't justify their opinions or they do so on spurious grounds. Like, my dad doesn't like rap music. Now, I like rap music, but I know there's a lot of problems with rap music. Misogyny, homophobia, the needless celebration of extravagant wealth. But my dad doesn't like rap music. <laughs> that does not normally get a laugh. <laughs> I guess that, in, in microcosm, is gentrification. Like, in <laughs> central London, everyone's like, ha, 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 we do have money. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be in front of the liberal elite. <laughs> <laughs> My people. <laughs> There's a lot of problems with rap music. A lot of problems that I, as a fan of rap music, accept. Misogyny, homophobia, the needless celebration of extravagant wealth. My dad doesn't like rap music because he says it's easy. And then he will prove that by doing a rap. <laughs> he goes, rap music's a piece of business. Watch this. My name is Dad and I'm here to say I'm a really great guy. <laughs> That's not proof of anything. You can't say something's easy and your evidence is you do it badly. That's like me going, jazz music's a piece of piss. Watch this. Bloody, bloody, blah. Oh, check out this easy juggling. <laughs> and if you have opinions that you can't justify, that's fine. As long as you acknowledge that there are rational beliefs. We all have things that we believe that we cannot for love nor money justify. That's fine. As long as you acknowledge that it's an irrational belief. Like, I have a lot of beliefs that even I know deep down are total horse shit. Like, I think all dieting is fundamentally immoral. Yeah, clearly, I think that that is an opinion I'm wearing very much openly in front of you, right? I think all dieting is fundamentally moral. Now, I know that that is bullshit, right? But I still believe it. But I know that it's an irrational belief. The only reason I believe it is I think dieting is immoral. And I've always thought that ever since I read about the five and two diet, right? If you don't know what the five and two diet is, it's where you eat for five days and then you fast for two days and that's how you spend your week. And when I heard about that, I was like, man, I hope no one in the third world finds out we are pulling this shit because... <laughs> If I lived in a famine-ravaged country and I heard about the five and two diet, I'd be like, are you fucking kidding me? They have so much food, they're having to take days off. <laughs> oh, look at me. I live in the West and I need a holiday from all this dinner. <laughs> have irrational beliefs that you force on people, you can look stupid. Like, I was talking to someone who's quite a bit older than me, and he said, Nish, the problem with people your generation is that you're all weak. You're all a bunch of weak people. Now, no doubt, there is a good argument to be made for that. But not on the grounds he chose. Because the grounds he chose were lactose intolerance. <laughs> He's like, Nish, look how you must be weak. Look how many people your age are lactose intolerant. You can't even drink milk, mate. Back in my day, I drank milk all the time. I fought milk if it crushed me. That's how tough we were. But the thing is, we know that's not how disease and discovery works. The same number of people have always been lactose intolerant. It's just now we know that that's a disease. 50 years ago, somebody would go to the doctor and be like, Doctor, I don't know what's wrong with me. I drink milk all the time and I feel like shit. What's wrong with me? The doctor would just be like, <laughs> Ghosts. Like, that was it. <laughs> that was their best guess. Thank you for watching Solar Theatre on YouTube. Subscribe now for more best comedy.